Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm testing and reviewing the Sierra Designs Tioga hoodie. Now this is a brand new product from Sierra Designs. There's two versions. There's the hooded, hooded version, and then there's the collared version with no hood. This jacket has a synthetic down called Fireball Synthetic Down from Sierra Designs, and it is a 40D shell, so it's super soft, feels like sleeping bag material, silky smooth, and it's super, super comfortable. It has the warmth rating of uh, close to about 600 fill power, so it's not the warmest jacket out there, but for, you know, early spring or, you know, early fall, this is a great jacket. I mean, this thing doesn't weigh that much. It's pretty lightweight. It has a ton of features. Uh, number one, I really like the elastic on the, uh, on the sleeve cuffs here. That makes things re really comfortable. The only thing I wish it had over here was, I wish it had the thumb holes so you can really just grab it and kind of, you know, if you're using this thing as a mid layer, the thumb hole right here would be great because this way you don't get the sleeve bunching up in your, in, uh, when you're putting a, a, a shell on over this. It is the hooded version, as I said. <laughs> This goes all the way up, full coverage. I'll get a little closer so you can see. Full coverage. No drawstring, which is a good thing and a bad thing in a way. As I said, it's a good thing and a bad thing in a way for the no drawstring on the hood. Number one is usually when they put the drawstrings on, you usually put them like right here. And sometimes they chafe. They kind of rub on your chin or your cheeks, uh, especially if you're using this as a sleeping system. You know, if it's super cold out and you want to use this to sleep in, uh, and not bring a beanie and you know, you're like, okay, well, I don't need to bring a hat I have a hood which is great great way to do it You're saving less less weight less things to bring the flip side to that coin is that they put the drawstrings on the inside Most of the jackets I've I've seen that have those usually have the drawstrings right here So as soon as you close it up those drawstrings are sitting right here in your cheeks and you know over time They'll chafe especially if you're gonna sleep in the jacket now me. I usually don't sleep in my puffy um, I usually have a, a pillow uh, either an inflatable or I use an ultralight stuff sack uh, that has a polar fleece liner like my hyperlight mountain gear um, Stuff sack is keeping fiber, but on the inside it has a, a fleece lining and that's what I usually use for my pillow, but Some people use something like this They'll ball it up and they'll kind of stuff it into like a t-shirt and use that as a pillow Which is a great option as well because these are they're puffy They can offer a lot of comfort for your neck and for those of you that have never used a pillow when backpacking It's worth it Bring a pillow, their pillows are so nice. It does come in several colors and they do have these nice YKK zippers and little pull tabs here. So the pull tabs are nice, you know, you can just grab, no, no snag on the zipper at all. It does have twin hand pockets here, which are zippered as well. And they also have little pull strings on those. On the inside, on the inside of the jacket, there is a large mesh stretch pocket here. And then another small pocket here and then a bigger pocket here. On this side, same kind of thing, small pocket, big pocket on the inside. So there's, you know, there's two or four pockets on the inside of the jacket, technically five, because this one also acts as a pocket with this mesh, mesh pocket right here. So there's multiple options. You can put gloves in there, you can put, you know, maybe your rain jacket in there if it's small enough, like my OR Helium uh, would fit in there perfectly. The hand pockets also double as the stuff sack that you can stow this if you really want to, and you kind of just stuff it in its own little pocket. And it is, it's not goose down or duck down, it is a synthetic down, so it's not as compressible as, you know, feathered down, but it still works really well. And you can compress this thing down pretty far. So it does compress down to pretty small, as I said, and usually I won't compress it like this. If I'm gonna put this in my backpack, what I do is I usually just kind of, I, I use this as like one of the last things that go in my backpack. Just because if you get up to the top of a high mountain pass or something like that and it's, you know, it's windy. It gets up there, you know, it gets pretty windy and then it gets cold. So usually I'll put this in like the top of my pack just so, or on the outside, just as a quick little, you get it out of your, you drop your pack, you open it up and there it is right there. You can pop it on real quick and stay warm. It does have a nice little storm collar that goes along the length of the jacket all the way across the zipper. So that's really gonna help lock the warmth in. And another great way to do it is on this side, there's also a shock cord. So you can kind of cinch this thing down, really cinch this thing down around the waist, locking in all that heat. This way it's not gonna escape out through the bottom of the jacket. Another thing that's really cool, and I don't know if you can see it, but 
the bottom of the jacket, it kind of slopes downward on the butt. So literally, I have this thing, you know, right below my belt in the front. On the back here, it's literally behind my butt cheeks. So it, it covers down all the way down. Now, it's not something I would kind of sit on. I would definitely lift it up if I was going to sit down. But if I was just, you know, kind of tooting around town or whatever, this thing would be down around my, around my butt. Or if I was hiking, I would have it all the way down as well. Because that just increases the warmth. And it doesn't make it uncomfortable to have it there. Kind of loosen up the, the shock cord on the side here. And then that loosens up the, uh, the waist. Other than that, this is the Tioga hoodie from Mountain Hardware. Now this jacket retails for about 130 bucks. In my opinion, worth it. You know, it's, it's, I think it's one of the best made synthetic down jackets on the market. And as I said, you also can get the non-hooded version, which is called the Tuolumne, uh, for 100 bucks. So a little bit less. Uh, but no hood, so keep that in mind. All right, guys, so that's my review of the Tioga hoodie from Sierra Designs. Here's their website right here. These guys make really, really high-quality gear and definitely worth a look at, in my opinion. Uh, as I said, this is the Tioga hoodie. They also make this in the non-hooded version, and it's just a collared version called the Tuolumne jacket. Uh, it is the lowest-priced tech-based synthetic down jacket or synthetic down jacket on the market right now. It's definitely worth it in my opinion. I like it. I like the features. I like the benefits that this kind of a jacket gives you while wearing it. And uh, the color options are great too. I really like the jacket. Two thumbs up for me here at Trail of Mountain. You know, I've always been a fan of Sierra Designs gear. But here on my channel, I always strive to be as completely honest with you guys as possible. Uh, and you know, I'm not paid by these companies to to give my opinions. So just so you know, this isn't a paid endorsement or anything like that. Um, it's my opinion on this jacket and what I think and more importantly where I think maybe there could be some improvements. Uh, as I said, you know, I would like to see some thumb holes, you know, on the sleeves. Um, I would like to have a drawstring for the hood or maybe another one, a different drawstring maybe around the back here, the back of the neck. Um, just to really cinch that thing down around the head to really lock in that warmth. Because when it's open um, like that with no drawstring, it does allow heat to escape. Uh, so the jacket could be a lot warmer if that was a little minor detail that was added. But as I said, you know, I, I strive and I, I pride myself on being honest uh, about these reviews and giving you guys what I think. So I really appreciate all the help, love, and support you guys have shown me over the past couple of years. If you guys like this jacket, you want to buy one of these for yourself, it really helps out support my channel and helps me bring out new videos to help and show you guys. Uh, make sure you use that link down in my description box down below. It takes you right over to Amazon where you can buy this jacket. And, you know, Amazon has a great return policy if you don't like it. So I'm um, pretty sure you're going to like it, though, because I like it, and it's a great jacket. So I don't see any issues there. Uh, it is pretty true to size as well. I mean, this is a large, and I got it. I usually would wear it like a medium in a jacket like this, but I got a large because sometimes I like to layer. And a little bit bigger of a jacket will help me layer more efficiently. So that's the reason why I got the large, but it is pretty much true to size. It is a little big on me. So the medium would have fit me perfectly, more snug and form-fitting. If you guys have any questions or comments about the Tioga jacket, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Make sure you leave those down in my comment section down below, and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also, too, please like, share, and subscribe. It really means a lot when people subscribe to my channel and like what I have to say about the gear that I'm testing. Thanks again for tuning in to my latest video. I really appreciate it. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor-related hodgepodge, gear talk, tech and camera reviews, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors.